This video will show how to use Wago Ethernet settings to configure a 750-880 PLC. You can start by going to the wago.us website and under the downloads, automation, and Wago IO system, you can download Ethernet settings. And while you're there, you'll also want to grab the Wago USB driver as well. After the downloads are complete, you want to go ahead and install the Wago Ethernet settings program. And when that's done, you'll want to go and install the USB driver. You might have to reboot your computer after installing the USB driver, but that depends on your system. We're now ready to connect the 750-923 service cable into the USB port of your computer. And then using a screwdriver, Open up the trap door that conceals the zero cable connection and go ahead and connect the other end of that cable to the PLC. You also want to connect a standard Cat5 patch cable from your computer into the PLC's Ethernet port. All right, go ahead and start Wago Ethernet settings. And now we're going to connect using the serial cable that we just connected. So click on Settings, Communication, and make sure you're using the right COM port, and you should see the PLC come up. Now we want to make sure that um, we put the PLC on the same subnet as our computer. So going into the network settings, you can look, identify the IP address that your PC has. And then we just want to choose an IP address for the PLC on that same subnet. In this case, it's a 192.168.1, and we're just going to make it 3 for the PLC. Then we just want to click on the right button at the top to make that change. Okay, now we can go back into the settings communication and change the connection to uh, Ethernet. And we're going to put in that IP address that we just used for the PLC. So we will no longer need the ser serial cable to make the communication with the PLC. If you don't know the IP address of the PLC, um, Ethernet settings can actually search for the device. You just give it a subnet and click search and it will uh, interrogate the entire subnet for you. So at this point the PLC has been configured uh, with its IP address and you can start programming it. Um, but I also want to show you some other things that Ethernet settings can do that you might find useful. Click the WMB button, it'll take you right to the web-based management um, or you can type it into the IP address into the um, address bar. And under disk info, it shows you how much of your internal uh, flash memory is being used. And since there is a FTP client or FTP server on the PLC, uh, you can just type in the um, IP address um, in Windows Explorer and log in with the admin WAGO credentials. And you can actually view uh, what is stored on the file system. And in this example, I've got uh, an unknown program loaded on the PLC. And I'm going to show you how to uh, clear out the flash memory uh, using Ethernet settings. So if you click on the Format button, that formats the flash uh, to the FAT file system. And then you want to click Extract, and there's a zip file that's hidden from view, and that will um, uncompress a default configuration um, back onto the flash memory and then click restart. So if we go back into our uh, FTP client, you can see that um, it's back to the original default state. So lastly, uh, one of the big advantages of the uh, 750-880 series are the dip switches. So if you just uh, remove power, um, you can actually set the IP address um, just using a screwdriver and setting the, the last octet um, to whatever you want to set the IP to. And this doesn't require any software at all to configure it. Basically, uh, it will be a 192.168.1 and then the last octet as you're choosing. So you can see here in Ethernet settings, um, you can tell that the dip switches are being used by the um, network tab and it says dip switch. It's also um, can be seen on the identification tab at the bottom next to the IP address. And that concludes this video. Thank you.